Hey guys, hey it's Mr. Lindy here and uh, today we're going to be talking about the standard form of multiplication and what that is is it's a uh, the regular or the the stacked method of multiplication that I was taught the way that your parents were taught um, the go-to that if you ever brought home a different form of multiplication and showed your parents and they say ah, I can't do that like lattice or area they go to this way I call it the old way as well so we're gonna go over that and the only way really to do this is to do it so I'm gonna draw a problem on the board and we're going to go over the steps of how to do this so it's a uh, it's a place value base, so you gotta you gotta go through the place values step at a time, and once you get the uh, the tricks, then you'll know where to go. So just follow along, and you'll see how you do it. So first, we start down at the two down here, and we multiply the ones place. So two times four is eight. Then we go back to the two, and we take the two and we multiply it by the tens place over there. So two times three, and that's six. So the first part is sixty-eight. Then where a lot of students mess up is the second step. The second step, you, since we're going over to this one over here, we're going to multiply from the tens place. So I put a place value zero down here, and we start with the one, and we go back to the ones place. So one times four is four, and then one times three is three. Once you have all of that, you add it together. That's eight. 6 plus 4 is 10, carry to 1. So there's your answer. So 34 times 12 is 408. And the reason why a lot of people like to use this one is, number one, they know their multiplication facts. And it's a lot quicker. So there's no drawing a board or whatever. Like I said, I like the lattice in the area. They definitely make a problem a little bit smaller. But this is a lot faster. Okay, let's take a look at another one. We'll do 47 times 36 and you notice right off the rip if you look at the uh, the ones place on the bottom of 36 it's six if you don't know your sixes this is where it's going to hurt you so spread a pen so we're gonna start at six we go six times seven because the one you go to the ones place first that's 42 you put down your two and you carry a four you notice I carried a four over here and now the second step is six times four we go six times 4 that's in the tens place so 6 times 4 is 24 and then you add 4 it's 28 so that's the first step next step I know some students like to do this hey I'm done with the 6 I'm gonna cross it out so they know they're on the 3 so before you even start doing a multiplication put your place value 0 in and you go to the 3 and you go 3 times 7 in the ones place it's 21 Get rid of that four and put a two here. And then you do three times four, which is 12, plus two is 14. Make sure that these numbers are lined up or you're gonna get the problem wrong as well, right here. So two, nine, six, and one. And that's 1,692. So 47 times 36 is 1,692. As you can see, I'm actually moving through these pretty quickly. So. This is why people like to do this type of problem. All right, next, let's do 63 times 25. Okay, so you want to pause it here and give it a shot and then uh, see what, if you can do it. Write down some uh, questions you have. This will work for us in the classroom, okay? All right, those of you that paused it and tried it, let's see if you got it. So. Uh, Start down here in the 5, with this 5 in the 1's place, multiply it by the 3, it's 15, carry the 1. Now we take the 5 and we multiply the 5 by the 6 that's in the 10's on the top. So 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. Next step, remember to always put down a placeholder 0. I like to draw a little smiley face in it, I don't know why, it's kind of fun. Okay. Um, some people still like to cross out the one in the ones place so they know they're on the, the next number. Then we go two times three is six, and then two times six is twelve. 
Now, you add them together. Five, seven, five, one. 1,575 is 63 times 25. There you go. And then the last one that I'm going to do is a little bit bigger. Don't freak out. It's three digits times two digits. It's just one more step each round. So it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes it looks a little more challenging. Okay, so same thing. We still start with the three. Three times two is six. Three times four is 12. Carry the one. Three times five. We see we follow in the order of place value. Three times five is 15 plus one is 16. Okay. Next, we'll put down our zero. And we'll go to the one. One times two is two. One times four is four. And one times five is five. Okay. Same old, same old. Add them up. Six. Two plus two is four. Six plus four is zero. Period one. And we have 7,046 is our answer. Bless you. Um, hope this uh, helped you out a little bit. We'll do a lot more in class. Um, please write down any questions or concerns, and we will go over quite a few. All right, guys. Have a good one. See ya.